Hello Virgo and welcome to my spiritual oasis. Here where your souls come to find a new wisdom and peace. Today we're doing your areas of life reading for the month ahead. So we're going to be taking a look at your personal energy, romance, career, business, as well as spirituality. We're going to have guiding energy and yes or no and charms um, as well as some additional oracles. So let's go ahead and get into shuffling out your guiding energy and as I do that... I would love to invite you to join me if we're not already connected here by subscribing to my YouTube channel. Drop a comment down below if something resonates with you, bearing in mind that these are general readings to general application. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And if it doesn't resonate, no worries at all. Uh, I can always connect with you on another reading um, in the future, or you can check your other zodiac placements. All right, let's get into guiding energy for Virgo. Guiding energy for Virgo's reading today. I can grab it. Peace. Balance. Expansion. Favorable conditions. Harmony. I love that. All right, let's get into it. What messages do you have for Virgo today for the month ahead? Oh, okay, well, that shuffling was questionable. Messages for Virgo. What messages do you have for, ooh, 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 for Virgo? What messages do you have for Virgo? Personal, Ten of Pentacles, Love, Magician, Career, Page of Wands, and Spiritual King of Pentacles. We've got a dynamic lineup. You know what? I was feeling some peaceful, chill, chill energy for you today, Virgo. Even happy energy, I would I would venture to say. So that's good. Let's get your oracle message here. Oracle message for Virgo. Go ahead, focus. With some advice for Virgo. Second half and oops, victory. Oh, that'll set someone at peace a little bit. A little bit at ease there with some victory hand in it. Microphone, grapes, the lady, peace. Okay. Peace, which of course, hello, direct alignment. There you go. Look no further. Imagine our little warped time clock. We have the death, the death energy, transformation, transition, infinity symbol, the eight of cups. Okay, maybe we're walking away from something here. Ace of Wands and the um, tree encircled. Tree of life. Tree of life. We're going to shuffle out your yes or no, but we won't get to the answer until the end. So be thinking of your yes or no question. I put some Virgo's yes or no question today. Cut it in half. There's our energy. Okay. Let's put this away. What a dynamic freaking spread for you, Virgo. Um, I'm excited for you. I always associate this charm with you, the classy lady. <laughs> and you could be a man, so classy man, classy lady, just classy, okay? Classy person. There we go. Um, <clears throat> we have the microphone here. So voice, voice is important, vocalizing uh, your opinion. We have laugh and imagine. Um, a warped sense of time for some of you. 
maybe you're doing something that you're getting lost in, you know? The death card, change and transition, transformation. That could also be in your career. So you, it, this could be talking about maybe you're younger and you're kind of venturing out and exploring, um, you know, life and, and what that looks like with the Page of Wands here. Page of Wands is very curious, hands-on, fiery, expressive, like wants to get out there and roam the world and explore. Um, but um, some of you maybe who are a little bit later in life, this could also be like exploring new passions or pulling up old passions and like pulling them into giving them a new life breathing a new life into them um some of you are walking away from something like i said like the, the eight of cups here you're walking away from something maybe walking towards something else here manifesting something different in your life the ace of wand here is really great um if you're looking for energy a new pathway that sort of thing some of you, okay, so those of you who may have been in the game for a minute, you know what I'm saying? Um, some of you have a warped sense of time. Like you think your time is running out, that it's impossible to start over, to start something new. Maybe that's what's been holding you back. And the message that I have for you is, it's only too late if you are muerto, if you're dead. Okay? So if you're watching this, I'm assuming that you're not dead. And so there's still opportunity there. Don't sell yourself short. Um, I, I see this. We have three ones here, by the way, too. So 111 is our manifestation number, just telling you what you already know. You have the power to manifest this 10 of pentacles. If you're not there, you have the power to manifest that. It feels like that's where your mind is right now. You're set on legacy. You're set on um, that harmonious end, the... Um, with the king of pentacles here just having like worldly comfort and worldly success and not having to stress out or worry about retirement and other things like that and that also keep in mind that retirement is not the end <laughs> like it's not your death sentence it's an end it's one end to something it's the end to something in your life but it isn't the end um and so keeping that fire alive by following a new path so i feel like i'm talking to a very small portion um, maybe not, but that's what it feels like. Like those of you who feel like it's over, you're too old or whatever. You're not. You're still alive. Heart is beaten and you're good. So um, rediscover, pull things up that you never thought that you'd be able to do. Now is the time. If you're young, now is the time. And if you are seasoned, now is the time. So our King of Pentacles suggests um, experience and he's the pentacles so he's got a lot of experience this is also Taurus energy you could have Taurus in your birth charts you could have Gemini in your birth chart uh, as well but in that spiritual space having the king of pentacles there it's kind of like again some of you have already earned this placement of you've already earned a certain level of success of attainment of specifically in the in the worldly planes um, and so are being, and you're successful. And so you're being called to manifest something new, to embark on a new adventure. Now is, now is your time. You've done the whole money thing. You're good, you're going, you're good. Now do something that you love. Do that thing that you put on the back burner because you didn't have time for it because you were at a different stage of your life. And for those of you who are maybe just starting out or you're not at retirement age, um, from a spiritual perspective, um, holding that, that mastery position in the world of pentacles, so master that time management, and you're able to express that out into the world as well. Um, the master of your craft. Um, if you're not there, spiritually you are and so that is what you're manifesting um, which i think is really beautiful some of you are manifesting new relationships and new connections or at least the magician is reminding you that you have the power um, to manifest the relationship that you want and it all starts about it all starts with looking inward and so if you are truly coming from a place of peace and wholeness and balance then that is the type of connection that you are going to 
manifest toward you. Um, um, uh, soulmate energy is what I'm getting from this infinity symbol with the magician. And it's also above the head there. Um, some of you are manifesting your soulmate. And that's exciting. I'm excited for you. Shoot. Amen like a good soulmate. Hey. But vocalize. Be vocal about what you want. Speak it out loud. Um, and don't be afraid of that. We have the grapes here. Abundance. I mean, your reading is just dripping with positivity. Um, the victory could definitely be talking about the completion of something, right? We already kind of talked about that. Um, and if you've not already made it, then that's definitely coming. We have the crown, king of pentacles, the crown. It's just a lot of connections and it feels very harmonious. A reminder here to laugh, a reminder here to dream and imagine sometimes. Virgo, you can be so serious, my love. You just... You're just so focused on perfection and getting everything right that sometimes you forget to actually be in the moment and to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Um, so release, release the spirit of criticism, release the need for everything to be in quotation marks perfect because we know that life is going to be what it is and we can do the best that we can and that is all. Um, that's not to say things don't need to be improved on, but don't allow that to consume all of you. Do enjoy, um, your efforts and what you've worked and what you work for and what have worked for if you have Aries in your chart use that energy as well as Taurus energy as well um yeah that's our message for you this month um make sure to journal through the process and keep your manifestations um in the forefront of your minds at all times and your hearts and visit revisit them frequently um not obsessively so but do visit them frequently quarterly annually whatever that cadence looks like for you all right let's get into the answer to your yes or no reading which we're going to flip over in a moment if you need a moment to think of your question you can pause the video at this point the answer to your question is a yes permission granted why do you need someone else's permission? Why do you need someone else's permission? You're a boss today. Your spread was the best spread this month. And so <laughs> lean into this, eat it up while it laughs, lasts. Of course, life is about ebbs and flows and, and cycles and all that kind of stuff. This is a really beautiful cycle that I have for you. Um, so enjoy it, enjoy it. Take a moment out and enjoy it. So Virgo, these are the messages that I've channeled for you. I hope this was helpful. If something resonated, do drop a comment down below. Click like and subscribe and I'll see you in an upcoming message. Bye.